Hi, and we're back. I'm back, and I'm here with Yusef Cole. Uh, Yusef, going? you have kind of an, like a, a unique kind of job description and like title. Do you want to kind of like introduce yourself and what you do since you do two different things? Sure. Uh, gladly. <clears throat> so I animate in uh, 2D and After Effects, and I'm the head of animation for Patriot Act with Asa Minaj. An on excellent Netflix. show. You should watch it. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> and I also do games criticism on the side and write for sites like Waypoint and Unwinnable online. Yes. Awesome. Two very difficult and time-consuming jobs. Yes, yes. And he also <coughs> uh, did a, an incredible talk about that that will probably be on the vault at some point at that other conference. Not th that's not this one because this one's better. <laughs> I mean, it's not better. If you're watching other conference, you're great, too. Um, so we're going to just kind of talk a little bit about, like, you know, what uh, inspired you to get into, like, animation. And, um, I mean, I guess we could also kind of go over to what inspired you to want to write about it as well. Sure. Um, it's for animation specifically. I, I really like seeing ideas come to life, and that's what I. That's always the best part of it, is doing the tedium and doing the hard part and moving all the pieces and balancing all the layers and the keyframes, and then finally it comes to life and it looks amazing, and it's cool and everyone's excited. Nice. And that's you know that that five minutes is worth the previous. You know, however, however many hours yeah. and weeks and days. Yes. Yeah. So awesome. I love that stuff. Awesome. Um, and um, I don't know. I I personally would like to to ask about a very specific thing you've done for Patriot Act. Oh. Okay. I we've talked about this <laughs> earlier, and he said it was okay. I'm acting surprised. Yes, he's acting surprised. <laughs> I am very. Su I was not going to do this. I just came up with this now. But can you explain the inside dick? <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't we sound just got terrible. A lot of, Hopefully we got a lot of <laughs> we get a lot of looks in here because yeah. nobody <laughs> knows the context but us. But now you all will. Hopefully, I, I, I don't think so. it's going to explain the entire con the entire context. But we didn't and we we did a very serious and important episode about insulin and drug pricing and how it's messed up in this country and people are spending way too much for insulin to survive. And it's a great episode. You should watch it. But for one of the sections, we basically. We had to show an anatomical model of the pancreas and the human body, and it happens to look a lot like a dick. Like it's just like <laughs> unavoidable. And we we downloaded this fancy model. We you know we rendered it at like 6K or whatever, like that, that's necessary for the screens. And then the night of right before taping, they were like, "This looks kind of like a dick." Does anybody else look, look like a dick to anybody else? And we were like, "We're not re-rendering this. <laughs> like this <laughs> thing took hours to do." And they're like. Okay, we can write a joke to it, and the nice. joke was that it looks like a dick, but an inside dick. Um, yeah. And they just made it over and over again throughout the episode. Yeah, he did it a lot. Called us out, called out the yeah. animators, saying, yeah. you know, we, we'd worked so hard on it, you know, yeah. like so. It's something I'm. I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm particularly proud of it, <laughs> um, <laughs> but you asked about it. I that's, did. That's I did. I wanted to know. Doing. I'm. Per I'm just being selfish here. I'm sorry if we made anybody uncomfortable. It's it's a little, fault, little behind the scenes yeah. of the show. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's easier to to make a really funny joke than it is to go back to the drawing board and re yeah. remake everything. Yeah. Like, well, I think that, that kind of like speaks to like how like with game development too and with animation, like sometimes things happen that you didn't really plan. Like you plan your shots and you plan all this stuff and then something happens. You're like, it's it's like a found like surprise, like a found good thing that people, you know, we, you keep in the game or you keep in the animation. And I think totally, yeah, totally yeah. accidental. Yeah. I mean, it makes us sound like we're not doing it on purpose and not like com comedic geniuses. Yeah. But, but like there's <laughs> a lot of that too, right? It's yeah. just sometimes you get those nice little surprises. Awesome. Um, so you obviously you write about games as well, um, mm -hmm. which means you play a lot of them, I assume. Sure. Um, so like, what's like your favorite bit of game animation? What's like one that like you know if you could if you could write a, like talk to the person who did it and you could write a story about it? Like, what's the one that you'd want to dig into? What's like your what's your jam? I was thinking about this, and um, I really like the. I just really love the assassination animations in Dishonored. Those always that always comes back to me whenever whenever I uh, whenever I see them. They're nice. gr they're grisly, they're terrible, they're violent and and um, and painful to watch. But there's something just so so smooth about the how they're set up and how they they're executed that that just like immediately comes to mind. It's nice. just like so cool. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. I, yeah, I mean uh, that. 
I played a bit of that game, and I yeah the the they were they're actually like really over the top for me. Like they they're were kind very of over like the surprising, very like exaggerated. like yeah, like I'm <laughs> like it's like there are those games where you're like, ah, oh, it's gonna be, and it, yeah. I know what I'm gonna do here. I know yeah. there's gonna be some sort of assassination, and then it happens. You're like, yeah, I just I kind of did. You're mm. like, what am I doing? This has been going on for minutes. Yeah, and I like, I kind of look, I like look <laughs> yeah. around to yeah. see if anybody does anybody think I'm enjoying this? Because uh, I mean, your person's like swinging their sword out and yeah. just like making a flourish, and like yeah. clearly the animators were having a lot of fun with that yeah, sequence. Yeah, I think so. And and there's they're unique for each person, and so yeah, it's just like it's just an example. This didn't have to be that elaborate, and probably was super expensive to do, but it I appreciate it, you yeah. know. And, and I I normally yeah. play very nonviolently. So like in, in those games, like you know, there's a nonviolent and violent path, yeah. but I'll always do like an assassination that's super violent just to see watch the animation, and then I'll go yeah. back and save scum to before I killed anybody. Oh, nice! So you and can then, just you know, do this. So my, the, my soul is clean. That, yeah. You know? Or your save game is anyway. My save game yeah. is clean. <laughs> Same thing. Same thing. It's true. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, so let's see what um, with like you, you kind of talked about this a bit in your talk yesterday um like what do you kind of hope to accomplish maybe with like <coughs> the work that you're doing with animation but like how you're kind of trying to combine the two passions together like what's your what's your goal what do you want to accomplish with i think just knowing more about everything I, i'm kind of i'm always hungry for more perspectives and and knowledge about about subjects and the show is really cool because it just opens up those avenues to things I wouldn't think about. We just did an episode about the Indian elections. Or it was our last episode. I, you know, I had no knowledge before working on it, and now I have like a lot of background, and I can dig deeper into it if I wanted to, and that's really cool. So a lot of it is I'm in, I get inspired to just on a whim to look into different things, and then and then I get really obsessed about it, and then yeah. I I buy books about it, and then I just read a bunch of stuff, and that's just lately it's my favorite way to process the world is to try and i guess know as much as i can about something yeah. and 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 yeah just dig in as deep as i can and you know you still can, you still don't know everything but it's just super fun to like just you know, educate yourself nice yeah awesome well thank you so much for joining me for this little chat my and pleasure uh, uh, Yusuf Cole, everybody, and uh, we're going to kick it over to the team that is creating Cascador, which is a physics-based animation uh, software. There was a loud boo in my ear. That was weird. <laughs> I don't think it was for this, though. Take it away, guys.